So I've got a new box from my Victron supplier and um, let's check out what's inside. Um, so this time I've ordered um, some battery chargers. Uh, I'll be trying out one of them. Um, so let's see what we have and then we open up the boxes and see what you get inside. So this is a Blue Smart 12 volt battery charger. This is a 10 amp. This one is not mine and um, I've got a bumper cover for the one which I'll keep the one and this is a wall mount for the charger um, goes with that one and I've got some extra leads for this um, and also two two meter extension leads Right, so there's another extension lead. Then the one that I'll be testing out is the 15 amp model. I've long been looking for a proper charger that you can use to charge batteries over the long run for and um, recondition them and also float them. And also I wanted this charger uh, because it can charge lithium batteries and I wanted to use this to condition my cells which I'm going to use to build my batteries for my solar system so this does link up to the Victron app um, so you can control and see all the parameters on your phone but we'll get to that later first we'll have a look at what's inside then um, because I want to make sure that it lasts, lasts I have opted to get the case for this so we will see how it fits in the case as well and um, it's just so much easier to put it in the case and store it in my garage and um, not worry that it's going to get damaged or anything um, and so on so let's open up the box and see what's inside all right so first off um, like with all the Victron equipment the packaging are quite decent uh, let's just get this open Okay, so there's two stickers and um, let's get this out and see what we got. Okay, so um, first of all this is some rubbers that keeps it to the packaging which is um, quite sturdy. And um, then, so what we get is obviously the charger. The 10 amp, the 15 amp is a little bit larger, and um, the the wall mount, so this wall mount, and the rubber. Um, I don't know what you call this. Um, the rubber bumper or whatever, you only get for the 10 and the 15 amps and upwards this five and the seven amps is a bit smaller so they don't fit with that so what you get included with this is the um, i think this is the uh, the m8 or the m10 um, eyelids if you want to connect it to a battery and then already connected comes your battery clips um, which is probably, it's it's quite plasticky, it's not rubber, but it does look kind of alright. Um, we'll see how durable they are, how long they last for. Um, it's a nice and flexible cable, um, looks decent, looks good quality. Um, so that's it, I'm going to loosen this up and unplug it, just for now. Um, Okay, so that has actually got some some somewhat of a latch um, which is quite nice because it has a positive click and then um, it stays in place so that works quite nice um, I've also got a two meter extension cable for this um, I'm not sure I'm hoping this would actually fit in the case with it um, so same connectors, just the female and male on both ends, 
and then with this rubber protector for the male side okay so this looks quite neat so let's go ahead and see how it fits in the case okay so the cases i'm always quite picky and full of not full of nonsense but specific about the clips um, because if they break then the case is well, practically useless um, so well so this is actually quite nice the clips it's plastic but it's it's not it, it's a bit flexible so it feels durable and good quality it's got a nice potter's positive click um, and it opens quite easily um, with the fact that you pull back and it bends it open it opens very easy um, so all in all I think the case seems really good quality and um, nice and sturdy and then what's nice about the inside is you get some foam inserts where you can comfortably um, put this now I assume that this little cutout is for the plug so I assume it's going around this way um, Okay, and um, I'll probably have to loosen up this wiring, get it to fit in properly, but um, I'm actually, okay, so it's not exactly the right size as it comes packaging, packaged to fit in this case, but I'm quite certain if I just um, rearrange this whole loop here, um, that it will nicely fit in and um, I've then got some slots so if we just make this a bit smaller um, like that and that will easily fit in there um, same for this one if I plug that in there and just wind it up so for the little clips there's a little bit of a bigger compartment there um, so we'll stuff them in there and um, something like that and there's some space for the two meter lead although i think i might actually just cut this one piece of the insert out so that my two meter lead can fit in there um so i'll get the wiring sorted a bit so it's fit so it fits in better but it looks really nice and um, a nice and sturdy case if, even though this is sticking out a little bit it will still close close nice and snugly and um, that's it packaged in its case um, so I'm really quite glad I got this I got this case and um, I'll go ahead and power this up and then connect it to the app um, and then I'll cover the first time setup and the first time use of this later in the video okay so at this stage really the only negative part that I see um, I've just fitted this um, bumper cover it has a big loop here at the top probably so you can hang it up somewhere now the only negative about this is that um, there's, there's not really a way to fit this in here with this firm cutout um, with this bumper cover fitted which I would have liked to do now if I the bumper cover fits all right I mean, it's not too bad um, and it will definitely protect it but um, so maybe if I'm turning it around and I'm cutting out the section here for this odd I don't know what you want to call it well then maybe it'll fit in if you cut this out 
and um, might work okay but um, I would have liked this to maybe be a little bit bigger so that you can fit it in here with a bumper cover um, anyway that's that's the only negative I can see with this for now um, but um, I guess I can live with that just remove the bumper cover um, and then just use it without it uh, yeah okay so um, for the first time use this battery is um, I think beyond dead but we'll see what the charger can do so I opted to to link up the um, the eyes or the eyelids or I don't know whatever you want to call it the terminals so these um, they do seem really sturdy and actually very good quality um, so I've got this plug here and um, I'll just run the wire inside the car it's standing outside in the rain so um, and then I'll put the charger inside the car itself so I'm gonna hook this up and then I'll leave it for about 48 hours and then we'll see where we get and um, we'll see what the results are um, see if we can save the battery or not I suspect I might have to replace it it's been on its last legs for uh, probably about a year now so um, let's see if we can do anything to this on the recondition mode that we've got with the charger okay so um, let's see I'm gonna plug it in I first need to get power on the car to get the charger inside the car so I've run the lead underneath there I'll leave that plugged out for now and um, then I'll start up the charger first I'm um, not sure if you're going to see the little lights with my camera flash or the cell phone flash on but um, we'll plug it in there and then um, yeah, we'll see the little lights come on there and um, on the mode setting we'll put it on on normal recondition um, and then let's plug in this lead here and then we see what it does so we'll open the little cover and um, so plug this in come on things aren't always that easy with one hand okay so there's a nice click I must say this connect these these connectors are real proper proper quality as you'd expect from any Victron product um, so um, it goes through some lights now and um, it should it should probably I don't know what that ABS is I would have thought it would go to to bulk um, but um, I think I'll I'll link this up on the app and then see what it does um, let's see if the car unlocks at least the keys inside and uh, it might take a while to actually regain enough power um, okay so at least the dash goes on so um, we should be able to unlock it now and yes it's picked up the battery now and you'll see the light on the bulk um, is on so um, yeah let's go set this in the car and um, I'll then do a follow-up video um, where I show how the app works to um, yeah that way around uh, for now that's it for this video and um, keep a lookout for the next one if you want to see how the blue smart charger works on the Victron connect app cheers